by Mark. and welcome back to the Sheboygan Armory for game two of our doubleheader tonight as it'll be the Sheboygan North Boys hosted by the Sheboygan South Red Wings. I'm Stu Hoppensberger. With me, the guru, Mike Martin and Marty. Uh, we're going to see a streak buster in game two. We've already seen one long-time streak go down. Sheboygan South comes in having lost 13 in a row to North. Before we talk about this game, Happy New Year. Hey, same <laughs> to you. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see a streak buster here. Uh, North has got an awfully strong team. Uh, we got a chance to see Solid when they played East a couple of weeks ago, and uh, they didn't look good. Uh, they fired too many turnovers. They didn't handle the ball well, and uh, they got to start with that. You know, once they start handling the ball, I think they can play with them. Sheboygan North, North, truly a program. If you don't know much about high school basketball, you would have looked at North with no returning starters, but uh, they haven't missed a beat. That's amazing. You know. And you think about it, even going in, all the conference coaches said, I'll pick them for number one. I mean, they're going to be right up there. And here they lost, I think, like their top eight guys. And uh, it's just amazing. You know, you talk about reloading and all that kind of business. That's exactly what happens with North. Uh, they just keep coming back with uh, excellent ball players, And uh, they got an excellent crew today, uh, this year. And the thing I really like about them is they play together so well. I suppose if you're a coach and you're going to lose, North dropped their first game of the year in their holiday tournament. There's nothing like a north-south game to get your team focused. That's exactly right. I don't like that saying that goes, well, you learn by losing. You know, a loss can teach you a lot. I don't like that idea. But, you know, now that they've lost that one game, you know, that should give them a lot of momentum to come back here in the armory and show what they're made of. Boykin South started the year with a bang and got out to a 5-1 and one start. Tonight, uh, a victory puts them only one game out of first place. It's a big game because it is a conference game, like you say, and they're two games out. A win puts them only one down. And uh, anytime you get that situation, you put a little pressure on that lead team, and that's what you want to do. We saw it in the first game. You know, North had the big lead, 20 points. All of a sudden, they succumbed to the pressure. You know, and they were about that far away from possibly dropping the ball game. Uh, same thing here with South tonight. You know, if they can pull off a win, all of a sudden, put a little pressure on North, you know, when they go into that next conference game. It's an important game for South. There's been some whispers that Tim Stubbe may have a little bit of a sore ankle, and that uh, does not bode well for the Red Wings if that's the case. He didn't practice at all this week, according to the paper, and I talked to Adam Thompson uh, during the first game. He mentioned the same thing. I was watching him out in warm-ups. He seems to be moving quite well. Also, I noticed they moved up Matt Hemsing, a guard, so if there is some problems, you know, they got an extra body on the bench uh, from the guard position anyway. All right, if there's one thing that you think is a key in this ball game tonight, what is what will it be? Well, I'm going to narrow it down to two for South. I think B.J. Harry has to play big in the lane, and I think South has to cut down their turnovers. Big thing for North all year has been their points and play off the bench, and I think if they get that kind of contributions sure off the bench, the along with uh, Tetchlog stepping up big again, uh, they're going to be tough to beat. Game. All right, game one went to Sheboygan North. The girls a 64-60 victor. We'll be back for the boys' opening tip-off right after this. Sheboygan is alive with, with artistic expression. Sheboygan Symphony Orchestra. Lakeshore Chorale. Distinguished Guest Series. University Theater. John Michael Kohler Art Center. Sheboygan Concert Association. Sheboygan Theater Company. Lakeland Fine Arts Series. Stephanie H. Wild Center. Theater for Young Audiences. Rotary Concert Series. Sheboygan Pops Concert Band. Give the new Performing Arts Gift Certificate available at the Chamber of Commerce office. Having twins can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? Labs and meth lab waste can be found anywhere. 
The people who manufacture methamphetamine aren't chemists, and it's a very dangerous process. It's toxic, it's poisonous, it's flammable, it's explosive. What we as citizens can do in our community to stop the flow of methamphetamine is educate ourselves in what's going on, be aware of what's happening in our neighborhoods, and report suspicious activity to the police department. ball game and Marty uh, I talked with Chris Wright about this in the first game about the streaks and of course Sheboygan South's gone 13 in a row without beating North on the boys side it may not be a big deal at the start of the game but I think as you get later in the game that's something that creeps back into the players mind well I suppose it could I, I, I know that coach Desitel doesn't you know talk about those kinds of things you know he focuses on the game itself and the uh, playing the game the way it should be played, and then things will take care of themselves as you go along. Uh, it may play in the minds of the South players, I think, a little more than the North players. Well, I think it plays in different ways. That uh, What I would say is that if you, uh, whether you trail or have a slight lead, if you're on the positive side of the streak, you seem to think that that's gonna work in your favor. And I think you start looking over your shoulder if that streak's, if you're on the negative side of that streak. Tim Crowns mentioned that in the paper this morning, and. Uh, he, proved to be uh, very prophetic in that uh, in the girls game you know his team made an outstanding comeback and uh, although South was able to uh, pardon me North was able to come back at the end you know and win the ball game it's still uh, you know once they got the ball rolling they were pretty hard to stop South being you know the girls team and uh, the answer to the question uh, Brian is yes we are going to have a national anthem uh, for the second time tonight talking about guru Stre streaks ah yes yeah, streaks Sheboygan North comes into the ball game tonight nine and one overall four and oh in league play Sheboygan South is five and three overall two and two in league play Dan Koopman in his seven year has not won a game in the armory Tom doesn't tell and I think I've got this right has been victorious in 38 of the last 40 meetings between these two and this was a series that South Owen before Desitel came to town. I know I got myself in a little trouble a few years ago when I said that uh, Tom had a winning record over all the South coaches. Of course, that's not the case. Uh, John Schumann has an eight and seven record against uh, Tom Desitel coach teams. But uh, like you mentioned, uh, Tom has been very dominating in this particular series. All right, setting the starting lineups is now the South starters are introduced. Uh, we'll set the north lineup first. Number 23, Shane Gruby, a six foot three inch senior. It'll be Jake Fry wearing 25. He's a six foot senior. Peter Wirth, number 31, a six two junior. We'll have Brian Herman, number 35, a six three junior. And Kyle Tetchlog, a six four player wearing number 51, uh, completes the lineup for Sheboygan North. Tetchlog, a junior as well. Now for Sheboygan South, it'll be Tim Stubbe, a 5'8 junior, wearing number three. Number five, Eric Donovell, a 5'11 junior. Uh, 35 is Admir Abisovic, he's a 6'5 senior. Scott Murphy, number 43, is a 6'5 senior. And Adam Koenig, a 6'0 senior, completes the starting lineup for Dan Koopman. 
South has uh, switched around their starting lineup, uh, Stu, over the course of the season. Uh, Admir, I believe, making his second start of the campaign. Uh, Hartman has started. Will Hartman has started a couple of games, I know. Uh, I believe uh, B.J. Harry started when we were down at uh, South that night. He's not starting tonight. We thank our fine sponsors, Dillman, Holbrook, Wirtz, Roth, and Bassler. Your local legal team is a proud sponsor of tonight's games. Let their experience and aggressive attorneys work for you and your family. And as always, Lakeland College. Fetchlock versus Murphy. Tip controlled by Sheboygan North. South in a man-to-man -man defense. Tetchlock goes cross court. This is Gruby on the drive. Little give to Herman. Loses the ball on the way up, but last touch by South. Chuck Bladehorn and uh, Jim Voigt are our officials tonight. A couple of good ones from Fond du Lac, Stu. Voigt uh, handing the ball out of bounds underneath the basket. Fry bounce pass inside. Little spin move by Gruby. Doesn't go battle for the board inside and a foul. Abisovic, his first. Again, North, uh, very aggressive, pushing the ball to the basket. You know, in years past, Stu, I don't think they pushed the ball as hard to the hoop. You know, only a couple guys were uh, allowed to do that. A uh, little more freedom within the offense. Kyle Tetchlog at the line. You saw his sister. Is, there's the dean of Fox River Valley Conference coaches, Tom Desitel, in his 27th season. Tetchlog hits both. His sister had a pretty good night in the first game. 19 for the freshman. Full court pressure and North forces the turnover. First turnover by South. Just underway from the Armory. Stu Hoffensperger along with Mike Martin. North in the blue jerseys. South wearing the white. North working the perimeter, looking for something inside. Salt very aggressive, playing very high. Tetchlog will see an opening on the baseline, but he drives and is fouled. Murphy, I think, will get tapped for this one. First personal against Murphy. Two more free throw attempts coming up for Tetchlog. I mean, misses the first as Dan Teller will come in. Danny Teller got his picture in the paper uh, about a week or so ago on one of those warm Sundays. He and his brother were out shooting hoops over at IC. Been a lot of warm Sundays. Yeah, really. Touchlog after a two for two goes 0 for two. Donovel comes away with the ball, but it's stripped by Herman. Oh, the ref uh, misread. No. They're giving it to South. Okay. Well, looked like his back was to the play. I don't know how he saw it was out of bounds. But he made the call. Right in front of the North bench, and they were arguing the call. South with the ball. They trailed 2 0. Just early in the ball game. First minute of play. North, of course, in their uh, patented man to man defense. Murphy had the ball knocked away. Scramble. Touch lock comes away with it. And North controls. They have to go another turnover for Salstu on that one. Might have been a travel there, no call. And then the ball stripped by South. Stubi will push it up court. His pass was touched by Herman and it goes off a South player. And North will get it back. So a little helter skelter here in the first 90 seconds of play. Well, we had mentioned this in the opening, and uh, it was a big issue at, when East visited South, and that was the turnovers, and uh, Bugaboo is right back wanting South in the first minute and a half of the ball game. Ruby left side. Now Worth turns and faces the hoop before getting it to Touchlock. 15-footer on the way for Touchlock. Hard off the rim, no good. And North comes up with the loose ball. Fry will try from three and nail it. <laughs> Well, good teamwork on that. North got the loose ball, and then uh, Fry picked up a little bit of a screen and a flip pass from his teammate, uh, Gruby. And a jump ball is Tetchlog. Tetchlog with the good Tied hands. Yeah, with the good hands. 
5.52 to play, first quarter. South still looking for its first points of the ball game. Is Tetchlog a member of that All-State team? Good hands in All-State? Teller's still got a little adrenaline flow in there, overshot as Mark and North brings it the other way. Murphy with the steal. Good play by Scott Murphy. Not committing to fall as he made the pick. Looked at the three, now drive, kicks it out to Donovan. Ball knocked away, but Murphy gets it back. Stubbe will launch from outside, hard off the mark. And a foul called against South. That's gonna go on Eric Donovan. And the interesting matchups to, uh, you'd think, you know, based on height, Tetchlog would be guarding Murphy, but that's not the case. Brian Herman is, uh, Signed Scott Murphy. Murphy is a South's high scorer, averaging in double figures so far this season. Raiders trying to extend a five point lead. Herman working the left side will give to Gruby. Three pointer wide of the mark. Koenig with the rebound. Actually got the pass inside the three-point line, stepped back to shoot the three, and then uh, didn't make a very good effort. Cross-court pass. Teller will drive inside, block from behind. North controls. Touch log retrieves from Fry, who saved it from going out of bounds. Good block by Brian Herman. Touch log gets open inside, but the ball is knocked out of bounds by Koenig and it'll stay on the north end of the floor. I think what happens to is Koenig tried to tip the ball away and then as he went to grab it, he was out of bounds at the time. Five second violation on north. How about that play by Tetchlog down on that end to throw it off the south players back and get the ball back and lay it in? Three point play, got fouled too. I think the first time I saw that was Sam Worth and at Marquette that, that pulled that one off. Well, there's a name out of the past. Whoa. And South throws it away. Red Wings have gone scoreless here in the first three minutes and 43 seconds. A little yes. mix up between Koenig and Stubbe who that pass was going to. Andrew Stewart checks in for Sheboygan North wearing number 44. One of the things uh, North has uh, had real success with this season is uh, production off the bench. And Stewart is part of that rotation. Touch lock from the right baseline. No good. Stewart rebound inside. He's got good legs. And North's got a seven point lead. And a whistle and a foul called against the Raiders. That'll be the first foul of the night against North. Well, we had mentioned uh, in the open about uh, Stubbe and his uh, possible ankle problems. He's. Uh, Looks pretty good out there so far. 30 second timeout called for by, who called that one, South? I believe it was North. I just said South, I think, Marty. Okay, we'll call it on South one. So, seven nothing, we're halfway through the first quarter. Here's a stat of the game so far, Stu. And we all know that South hasn't made any field goals, but They've only attempted three shots. Three shots in four minutes. Yeah, that's not a good, uh, that's not a recipe for success. On the flip side, uh, one of the tenets of Norse high powered offense is to try and get as many shots off as you can, preferably, you know, up into the 20s when it comes to the three point attempts. They're near a full house here tonight, Marty. Very good crowd. Uh, about as full as we've seen it in the uh, last couple of years. And I, the referees are having some problems with the lines. And uh, they're going to correct it. And I think that uh, North felt they missed it over here on this side. And you want to you explain the lines, Marty? Black line is out of bounds when you're playing the game. But when you throw it in on the sideline, you have to receive the ball inside the red line. And then once you've got the ball in play like it is now, now it reverts back to the black lines. Well done, Guru. I've played here before. 
announced here before too. North uh, setting things up this time. These Try. two officials do have worked this court before. You know, they're they're not new to the valley by any means, and uh, they're not new to the armory. This is Andy Shane blocked from behind by Stewart. Scramble, wild scramble, bodies on the floor, jump ball. I think South gets the ball. I don't know about you, but I know that Herman is <laughs> pretty comfortable with that type of play. Stewart's an explosive jumper. He got that one from behind. And uh, we're seeing some fight on both ends. You like to see a lot of guys going to the floor. That's good aggressiveness, and that's the way the game should be played. It's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. Possession arrow favored North, and so the Raiders will have the ball. 7-0, 3.20 remaining, first quarter. Three-second call. Uh, probably. Oh, blocking foul, that'll go against Trevor Ruby. His first personal, two team fouls against North. Ruby receives the uh, inbounds and gets it right over the Koenig before uh, North was able to apply the double team. Koenig's got three guys, Stubbe with three guys on him and Teller lost it off the dribble. Six turnovers for South. Uh, pace to go for uh, 24 and that's uh, not a good thing. Three minute mark, South still looking for its first points. Worth out front. South continuing to play man to man. Ruby's long bomb doesn't go. Shane with the rebound for South. Stuby out front, now we'll reset the South offense. A lot of screening by the South uh, players, trying to free somebody up. Teller, shot banks off the glass, no good. Stewart clears the rebound for North. Worth on the give to Tetchlog and he scores. Nine nothing, Tetchlog with four points. Steal. Throw it up. Shot no good. Gruby had trouble getting a handle on the ball and a collision underneath. I believe that's gonna go on Danny Teller. And it is, Teller his first host of substitutions in. I was just thinking the same 25, thing. 25, Will Hartman, I believe number 11 is Matt Hemsing, who they brought up from the junior varsity team. And South's gonna take a full timeout with 2.08 to play in the first quarter. It's North 9, South 0. Strength in our numbers. Our call is to action, to practice what we preach. Be there to care. Our passion is compassion. We're only human, but together we're humane. Our letters stand for taking a stand, for taking the lead, for filling the need. The American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Be part of our heart. Imagine if everybody could live in peace. Imagine if people helped each other. Imagine if there were no bombs. I hope someday you'll join us. Imagine if there was human rights for everyone. Imagine. Well, Marty, uh, see Coach Dave Pfeiffer, his son Jacob's on the uh, South basketball team. Congratulations to coach on a pretty darn good football season. You guys had a lot of fun with that this year, didn't oh, you? Oh man. Or I should say last year. <laughs> yeah, actually, you're right. This North, school year though. North with the basketball leading nine nothing. Uh, combined, the two teams are ice cold. Three for 15 from the floor. South yet to score, but they've got the basketball. Shane with a pass to Koenig. And he hits the bank shot and South on the board. 149 to play, they get their first points. That was a great, on the drive. That was a great shot by Koenig. You know, he had to go full speed and then he got the pass and was able to uh, make a good jump stop and then go up and uh, put the shot in. 
And he got called for his first personal. The other player that came in in that mass substitution was Will Hartman, number 25. B.J. Harry. And he's in him. now too. B.J. Harry's in. Thanks for uh, catching that one, Guru. Yeah, I don't, I don't very often get to catch you on a mistake, so when it happens, <laughs> take advantage uh, of it. That was more of an omission. <laughs> Spin move, shot no good, and Donovan with an aggressive. He's got some ups too. Oh yeah, he's two a good the, jumper. He's a, he's a very good athlete. Two of the best jumpers on the floor, Stewart and Donovan. Runs well in pads. No doubt about that. 135 to play, South down by seven, but they've got the ball. North with full court pressure. Hemsing, bounce back, ahead to Hartman and a double dribble. And the ball will go the other way. And I believe that's eight turnovers now on the Red Wings in the first quarter. That's way, way, way too many. 9-2, North has led from the start. Ketchlock working hard inside, turns to face the hoop. Spin, lean, shot, no good. Harry made him change it. Herman offensive board. Now Stewart, three shots for the Raiders and they lead by nine. They're just dominating on the offensive glass. That was three offensive rebounds for North. Hemsing goes cross court. Donovan will bring it into the front court. Under a minute to play. Shane, left corner, looks inside. Harry, short Thanks. shot, won't go. Stewart cleans up the rebound. Stolen by Donovan. Nice oh. wraparound pass. Harry scores. I was going to say it was great defensive help by Herman on the initial thrust, and then uh, Donovan. I thought Harry might dunk that one. Three point answer by Gruby. He wanted to, he just didn't quite have the uh, strength to get up. And a whistle and a foul with 23 ticks left on the clock here in the first quarter. Jake Fry is going to pick up his second foul, Stu. Third team foul against the Raiders and a couple of substitutions as Trevor Gruby comes in and uh, Worth returns to the lineup. And now Dave Soxie into the ball game, replacing Stewart. Twenty three seconds left. Donovan with the ball. Hemsing. They're at 10 right now Marty. They're at 11. There was 23 seconds right, left. You're right. Slow count. And a bucket by Hartman. South catches a bit of a break there on a slow 10 count. And that's the horn. We've played one quarter at the Armory at Sheboygan North, leading south, 14 to six. Exercise your emotions. Attend a live orchestra concert. Go to findaconcert.com. Yeah, south with eight turnovers, north with five. The totals for both teams are, are too many, Stu. Five, five and a quarter is too many. That puts you at 20 for the game. I know uh, coaches don't like that number. Well, one thing I will say though about the turnovers, at least on the north side, is they play such an uh, up-tempo style that uh, it I don't want to say it encourages, but you know you're you're bound to get more turnovers at that style of play than if you're walking the ball up the court and uh, you know running a half-court set each time. Well, I think in some respects North missed an opportunity to blow this one open in the first quarter. South uh, can't you shoot any worse and turned it over eight or nine times, and they're yet they're only down by eight. Well, I think uh, Chris gave us some numbers and the North didn't shoot well that first quarter. Raiders with the basketball. North was five out of 14 only. Nice drive inside by Shane Gruby. 10 point North lead, Gruby has five. Donovan. 
Now Stubbe. South breaks the north pressure. Abisovic in the corner. Looking for a cutter. Now gets it back out to Stubbe. Cross court to Murphy. Murphy has been a non-factor so far. Donoval for three. Shot no good. Murphy gets tangled up with Soxie going for the rebound and uh, it'll be out of bounds to North. Herman will return to the lineup for Sheboygan North. Trevor Gruby uh, checking out. Well, they're in that last possession uh, just a little bit. Uh, Murph hasn't hardly touched the ball. We want to get him going on offense. And a travel. Travel call against Peter Worth, and so South will get it back. Hetchlock just Almost. about had the interception. Pretty good timing on that uh, interception attempt. Stuby, Murphy drives inside, foul, no call, and scores. Could have been going to the line, Marty. Yeah, he got hammered pretty good by uh, Kyle Tetchlog, no call. South and, uh, within eight. Murphy with his first points of the night. Worth guarded closely by Stuby. South continuing to play a man to man defense. Brian Herman out front, and North will try to reset again. Stuby doing a, his best to bother Worth. That was a bounce pass to nobody, and so South will bring it the other way. 6-18 to play. Very good defensive possession by South that time. They uh, really hounded the North Siders. <laughs> and a turnover again, South another turnover. Gets, yeah, they give it right back, Stu. Sheboygan North raced out to a 9-0 lead, and Sheboygan South went almost five minutes without a score. And that's why North leads 18-8 after that score by Worth. Koenig into the front court. His pass knocked away by Touchlock. I don't remember uh, Adam Koenig handling the ball a lot that game at East too, but it seems like maybe it's a strategy that Dan Koopman is in, uh, using is to get the ball to uh, Koenig and let him bring it up against one of the uh, lesser North defenders, if that's what you want to call Worth. I know he's not going to be very happy when he hears this, but uh, you know maybe that's the strategy and allow the quicker North guards to not uh, guard the ball. Joey Fritch in the lineup for North, wears jersey number five. Stuby long three-pointer, hard off the rim, no good. Rebound controlled by Fritch. That was good hustle by uh, Joey. Stuby had a good look at the three-pointer. Dave Soxy gets it back to Fritch. Touch log, right baseline. Takes it inside, ball was blocked by Murphy on the way up. And he actually got, Kyle actually got double teamed on that. Quick hands by Herman, he knocks it away at North, and now Dunival will push the ball out of bounds. It'll stay on the north end of the floor. Peter Worth will return to the lineup for Tom Desitel. So Fritch gets a quick minute of play. Well, it was productive in that minute too. 18 to eight, North with the ball in the lead. Worth rolls in another one. And strong to the basket, Stu. Four points for Worth. Ooh. And North will get the ball. Dave Soxie with some hustle there, and he also uh, got a little slam, slam dance <laughs> into the bleachers. <laughs> My back hurts, and I'm sitting up on the stage. I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> Out front, this is Gruby, Shane Gruby, Worth. Tried to bounce pass, knocked away. 
All right, and telegraph, it'll go to North. telegraph that one. 4.36 to play in the first half. North has led the entire way. Herman knocked it off the south guard, Donoval, and so North gets it back. South just has not been able to get anything going, Marty. Not a bit. They're going to take a 30 second timeout and talk it over. What do you say? You know, South is, North has uh, eight turnovers, Stu, and a uh, number of times South has caused the turnovers, and they turn right around and turn it right back to North, and uh, you just got to possess, you know. Old possession of the ball to be more important than uh, what South has done so far tonight. And uh, you know this is exactly what we saw in that East game. I hate the hound on it, but you know you're not going to win basketball games playing like this. North isn't doing much better either. Don't you think with a six-five and six-seven player like Murphy and Harry, you've got to get some post play down low and just try to stuff it in there and see if you can get some hoops or fouls? I think. I'm now, I haven't noticed that much with B.J. Harry, and you know they just didn't seem to get into the sets for me to take a look. But when Murphy is in the game without Harry, they're they're playing pretty much a five-man motion, Stu. They're not they're not setting one guy in the post. Uh, with Harry, and you'd think you'd want to get him underneath the basket and try to get him down, at least maybe run a high-low type action. And we saw a little bit of that in that East game, but uh, not seeing it here tonight. Stewart travels, and so South will get a chance to cut into that North lead of 20 to 8. I want to thank Kerry Kultzer for the subs. That was our supper tonight. They were pretty good. Murphy open underneath, fouled on the arm by Stewart. First personal on Andrew. Actually, I think uh, Brian made the trip over to uh, Cousins for the subs. All right, Brian. He can't hear us. <laughs> Something's wrong with the connection ever since we got the new equipment. That's why he didn't smile. Murphy misses on the first free throw attempt. He gets another. Scott, a six foot five inch senior. He's pretty much South's go-to guy when they want points. So uh, Murph is the guy to do it for him. Will Hartman back in for Sheboygan South. Will is the man. Stewart left side. Goes to Trevor Groovy. Now back out front. This is Worth. Harry guarding Tetchlog inside. Playing denial, not letting him get the ball in the post. Touchlog tried to bounce pass into Stewart and threw it away. Shane Gruby returns. He'll come in for Stewart. North continues to apply the full court pressure. Murphy double teamed, a lot of trouble. Scramble and a 10 second count. Well, I got up to 15 turnovers per half. I'm gonna have to start adding numbers. Are you just doing, see, you should have just done single slashes and then you could have gone <laughs> back. Really. It's been a very low scoring half for both teams based on what their season scoring averages are. We could say it's good defense, but I'd rather say it's bad ball handling. <laughs> I'll say it's good defense then. By the way, I sacrificed quite a bit to come here tonight. Contemporary choir over at St. Dominic sung for mass, and I'm, I'm down here. Judy Strauss was not happy, but she understands. By the way, any of you St. Dominic's parishioners want to get involved, even if you're not a parishioner, <laughs> we can always use a couple extra voices. That includes you too, Stu. <laughs> You could be in the tenor section with me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> My goal in that choir is give the director a hard time. Back to action. <laughs> <laughs> and a turnover by North. Again. Stuby brings it up quickly. 12 foot pull up. Hard off the rim. No good. Shane Gruby with the rebound. That was a good decision by Shane. 
Trevor Groovy comes up short. Teller knocks it out of bounds, but they're going to call a foul over the back on Teller. That's his second personal foul. Uh, look for uh, Tetchlaw getting the ball here, Stu. He tried to step in. It's clogged up. Herman was the second option, and it's taken away by Teller. Wow. Hemsing back in the game for South. Ooh, Teller, a little body contact, no call. Hartman now back out top to Hemsing. Murphy to Stubbe. Under three minutes to go in the half. Hartman for three. No good. Teller offensive board and scores. Danny Teller. First points for Teller. Worth traveled. Nope, they call it charge. Well, either way, he was going to turn the ball over. And the thing with the offensive foul, he picks up a foul with the turnover. Bisevich back in for South. Murphy's going to get a breather. We won't mention that. He's talking to Mr. Wright. Hemsink bounce pass to Stubbe. Stubbe kicks it out to Teller. Pull up 12 footer. Off the rim. Bisevich was pushed from behind. No call. And North controls. I think that was pretty good positioning by Worth. Catch log on the drive. Scores. Hoop didn't want it, but it went down. Touch log was six. Teller. Oh. Tried to. Yeah, I'm tried. not sure who he was trying to hit there. There were two possible targets. You and me. <laughs> we were open. <laughs> His teammate under the basket wasn't open. Stewart returns for North. Stewie will bring it in right in front of us. 2-0-1 to play in the half. Murphy's back in the lineup for South. Ooh. This is him with the ball, 15-footer, and he's fouled. Stewart will be called for his second personal. What's that one-on-one -on -one play that uh, Murphy's so good at? It's almost impossible to stop one-on-one. -on -one. Well, this is normally a first quarter score, especially on the north side of town. And we're almost at the end of the first half as Murphy hits his first free throw. We get a shot of Scott, 6'5 senior. He hits both, and it's a nine point game. Murphy with five. Oh, I was just going to say that, Stu. Ruby with the miss. That was Trevor on the shot that time. Herman uh, sailing through at a little bit too soon on the jump. Otherwise, he might have got the offensive rebound. Shane back out. Teller, right side. One thirty to play in the half. Teller's got some long reach here. I think that pass was intended for Canning. Teller, crossover move, 12 footer, rolls off the rim, no good. Murphy and Herman fighting for the ball. Murphy's got it. Stubbe fouled, no call. Oh. And they're going to pick Shane Groovy out of, the, out of the scrum, and he gets called for the foul as first. Probably a good thing they blew the whistle. Someone was liable to get hurt. Thought that that was probably an equalizer call right there, Marty, because uh, Stubbe got fouled on the, on the initial shot that started that whole thing. No, he didn't. Was it Hartman? Who was it? Somebody got fouled. You fouled me. <laughs> I never fouled me. Stubbe's free throw rolls off the rim, no good. North loses the ball, and Murphy will get an easy two. <laughs> South within seven, that's the closest they've been tonight. And that's another turnover by North. 
They have 14 so far in the first half. Gruby may have got away with a push off there. This is Trevor Gruby out front as the brothers exchange passes. 40 seconds to go, now Worth out front trying to direct traffic. He'll take it inside, tries to spin. Stubby knocks it away and gets the loose ball now. Pass up ahead, Hartman. Foul. Stewart went up and blocked it, but committed the foul with the body. His third personal. Good kick out by uh, Tim Stubby. Here it is again, Marty. He can get up, but he definitely got him with the body. Got him with the lower body, the hips. Yep. Arm was definitely about a foot above the ball. <laughs> Hartman misses the first. Salt's gonna have to convert free throws tonight. Ketchlag and Stewart sit down. Hartman looking for his first point tonight. Nope, check that, he had a bucket earlier. Had a hoop in the first quarter. That one rolls in, so three points for Hartman and it's 22-16, the closest South Bend in this ball game. 25 seconds to play, first half. Ooh, Trevor Donovan calling in the ball. South's got North pushed right back to the half court line as we hit the 12 second mark. Actually, that was Andy Shane, number 15. Five seconds, Worth. And Worth's gonna get some free throws. Is it ball against Hartman here? No. Koenig. Adam Koenig's second personal, and that is a bonus free throw coming up for Peter Worth. 22 to 16. Not much scoring at all. It's like you had mentioned earlier. It's more like a first quarter score in a normal game. Well, if and the turnover count is uh, probably like it should be after three or four quarters. Unless Not Worth hits both free throws, North doesn't score double digits in this quarter, and that doesn't happen very often. Twenty-three, sixteen. Worth to get a second free throw. Four seconds left on the clock. At the buzzer. High off the backboard, no good. The shot by Andy Shane. So after one half of basketball in a low scoring game at Sheboygan North, leading south 24-16. How much do I need to save for her education? How much credit card debt is too much? No matter who you are, making informed decisions about what to do with your money will help build a more stable financial future for you and your family. Take charge of your financial future. Visit our website at federalreserveeducation.org or call us toll free. There's a lot to learn about money. So many kids' activities today seem to leave out the activity part. New research tells us that just getting children to walk an extra 35 minutes a day could spare them the pain of thinning bones later in life. Encourage your kids to get up, get out, and get moving. Hello. Hey, Grandma, how about another grape soda? For more advice on how kids can build strong bones, visit aaos.org, a public service message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. This is your nest egg. This is your nest egg when trouble strikes. There is no insurance against investment fraud. There is no insurance if you lose money in the stock market. But there is help if your broker goes out of business. One organization helps you get your securities investments back. The Securities Investor Protection Corporation. It's your nest egg. Protect it.
been injured in an accident. You need tough, experienced trial lawyers fighting for your rights. There's no need to look outside Sheboygan County for legal representation, especially when you have tough, experienced trial lawyers right in your own community. Since 1945, the attorneys of Dillman, Holbrook, Wurtz, Roth, and Bassler have established a reputation for fighting hard and winning for accident victims and their families in Sheboygan County. Why take chances elsewhere? Call them and let them take on the big insurance companies for you and your family. that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. 
An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy-to-manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. You know, Stu, uh, we talked about South being able to control Temple somewhat through that first half. Uh, one thing that North did really well was limiting Scott Murphy to only two shots. I don't know if they have a, a play by play like I keep here, but you know, one of the other positive things you got to talk about if you're South is really they played North even after the first, uh, you know, five or six minutes. North jumped out to that 9 nothing lead, but since then, actually, South South scored North by one. Good point. And I'm sure that was probably discussed at uh, halftime. And uh, Dan Koopman, of course, can use that as a real positive when he speaks to his troops in the locker room. I'd like to take one more moment to thank our sponsors of tonight's live broadcast. Dillman, Holbrook, Wirtz, Roth, and Bassler, your local legal team, is a proud sponsor of tonight's games. Let their experience and aggressive attorneys work for you and your family. And also thanks to Lakeland College, a continuing sponsor of high school sports on TV8. South with the first possession of the second half, and it will be Donovell bringing it in to Koenig. Koenig, Koenig double team. Yeah, quick double team and another turnover. Ruby, left corner, goes cross court. And a three-point bomb by Fry. Fry's got six on two three-pointers and that full court pressure. And right now it just looks like North wants it a little bit more, although South comes up with it. Koenig open underneath. He uh -huh. misses the shot, but the foul will go against Jake Fry, and that's his third. I thought that uh, Koenig that time, Stu, should have taken it underneath and come up with the reverse layup. Canning a six foot senior. I don't know if you mentioned it, but Jake Fry picked up his uh, third falls to. I did mention that, but uh, Bears repeating since he and Stewart both have three fouls now. Canning hits both free throws. He has four points. It's a nine-point North lead. Teller Word. starting the second half, Stu. Another three-pointer, this time by Shane Gruby. North had two three-pointers in the first half by uh, Gruby and Fry, and uh, that combo starts off the third quarter with a couple of threes. Gruby has eight. He's now the leading scorer on the floor. Hartman slid. almost with a travel. Yeah, he slid a little bit there. Murphy tried to hit Koenig, the pass was knocked away. 7.05 to go, third quarter, Stu Hoffensperger live at the Armory with the guru, Mike Martin. That'd be me. <laughs> In the opening game, the Sheboygan North girls snapped a 23-game losing streak to South, winning 64 to 60, but not before a valiant comeback effort by South that actually tied the game after trailing by 20. What was the largest lead by North? Was it 20 or 22? Yeah, I'd have to go back and look, but uh, you may be was right. Was it at least it 20? Been. Yeah, it was definitely 20. Murphy was blocked, and then uh, Hartman in the battle for the rebound knocked it out of bounds. Just because I'm curious now, Marty. Twenty. Tetchlock battling inside with Murphy. Shot missed and knocked out of bounds by. Teller knocked that one out. Teller. Hmm. Hmm. So North will keep the basketball. Good hustle to the ball by those three players. Oh, and an easy two fell inside asleep. for Groovy. 14 point lead. Groovy in double figures with 10. Hartman doing a smart thing, getting it over to. Uh, Tim Stewie. Teller did a good job of tracking down that pass. Koenig left side. He's hounded by Worth. Worth uh, did a good job of covering up uh, Koenig before he could shoot. Stewie about three feet outside the arc and uh, nothing but air on that one. 
He had a good three point attempt on this end of the floor, Stu, uh, right in front of the north bench that didn't go in for him either. Uh, but that last shot was probably a little bit too deep. Fry, get it to touch log out front. He's guarded by Murphy. Pass inside, nice look. Herman's shot rolls up, fouled by Teller. A nice backdoor cut by Herman and a great delivery by uh, KT, Kyle Tetschlag. So Herman will get free throws with North leading by 14. Herman looking for his first points of the night, Stu. North now with its largest lead of the night. South will take a timeout. 5.48 remaining in the third quarter. It's North 33, South 18. Doesn't matter who you are, or what you drive, or where you live. You have the power to give someone the greatest gift in the world, life. Make the decision to be an organ donor. Make the decision to donate life. See, I told you. <laughs> there you see a look at some South uh, boosters. You can tell because they're wearing red. Well, they could be Nebraska. <laughs> or Badgers. <laughs> yeah. But no, they're South. When's the last time there was a north-south game played with no snow on the ground? That's what I want to know. Uh, last year? Last year. <laughs> <laughs> might have been both games. There might be snow by the time we leave here tonight, though. Or definitely tomorrow. Herman gets both free throws, his first two of the night, and it's a 16-point lead steal oh. by North. Worth with an easy two, his first points of the second half. Lost the turnover by the Red Wings. Shane dribbles into the corner. He's double-teamed. Hartman out front, now goes to Stubbe. Five and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Well, South handling the North pressure pretty well up until that point right there when uh, Worth made the steal. Derby to Herman. South yet to score a field goal in this quarter. They did get a pair of free throws, so they're on the board. They only had six in the entire first half, which is a very low total. And North on the flip side had only nine, which is a very low total too. Wide open look for three. And Fry with his second three of the third quarter. Nine points on the night. It's 39-18. Double team and jump ball. Possession arrow. Favors North. They'll get it back. And another turnover by South. And what, what didn't happen in the first half, Stu, was South committed a number of turnovers. North was unable to capitalize on that, convert it into points. So far in the third quarter, they're converting those turnovers into points. It's a 12 point run by the Raiders and the other problem South has now is one timeout remaining. So you don't, don't have a lot of opportunity to regroup. But North turns it, North turns it over and South will get the ball back. A nice cross court pass to Harry. Oh, Teller was streaking in wide open. Did a good job of getting the ball back, but couldn't hit the short shot. Herman falls down and travels, and so South will keep it on that end of the floor. Now, Herman did the smart thing. He started to go down and, and dribbled the ball, but I think he picked up his dribble before his derriere hit the floor. A little bit softer pass, and South might have had a dunk on that initial. Donovan with a 360 spin. Move and a foul called on Touchlock. Kyle Touchlock's first personal. Donovan uh, looking for his first points. And North has broken it wide open here in the third quarter. Donovan misses his first. He's trying to end a 12 point run by the Raiders if he can hit this second free throw. North cruised out to a 9 0 lead in the first quarter. South 
played them pretty even, and it was 24-16 at the half, but now the Raiders have scored 12 unanswered as Donovan misses both free throws. Long pass. Oh. And on the drive, a foul on him, or a travel. What well, it was a travel, but uh, they call a foul on Harry first. Actually, it was on Teller. Wow. Teller with his fourth, and Murphy's in. Worth in the lane, kicks it out. Ruby inside the arc, short on the mark, and Stuby, the smallest guy on the floor, comes away at the, well, second smallest guy. I'm saying maybe smaller. Ball stolen from behind and then knocked out of bounds. That was Herman. Well, based on that last leap by Stuby, you'd have to think his ankle isn't doing too bad. He got up there. He's got it taped high. Bisevich comes back in for South, replacing Harry. 4-11 to play. The Red Wings have a pair of free throws in this quarter, but no field goals. Bisevich controls the pass from Stubbe. I'll tell you, North is just hounding the Red Wings into uh Numerous passes that are uh, almost intercepted, and there you have the interception. Steal a nice outlet pass and an easy two for Shane Gruby as it's 41 to 18. Gruby now with a dozen. Now, the thing I've noticed in the couple of South games I've seen this year, Marty, is they don't have that natural outside score like they've had in the past. Now, you mentioned that when we were at East. Uh, I know it wasn't on the air, it was uh, during, even probably after the game, but uh, I think you're absolutely right in that account. And uh, inside, Abisevich gets the first South field goal of the second half. And when you have one main scorer like uh, Shane Gruby, get that one, or Trevor Gruby rather. But I was going to say, when you got one guy like Murphy, you know, it's going to do most of your scoring. It's pretty easy to defense him. Murphy answers the three with one of his own. You know, force the other guys to try and beat you. And Tetchlock was stripped by Hemsing. Was that Trevor or Shane that hit that last three? They announced Trevor. Shane, but it was oh. Trevor, right? Yep, Trevor. Donovan way outside thought about it. Bisevich inside Murphy open for the easy bunny. Murphy has 12. Good high-low action. 2.35 to play in the third quarter. It's north by 19, and they've got the ball. Neither got, neither, nobody saw it. I did. South hit it out of bounds. All right. They guessed, and did they guess wrong? Is that what you're telling me? Yep, but that's all right. Fourth turnover by North this half. So Donovan will trigger the inbounds pass for South. Hemsing will bring it up. Matt Fister in the ball game for the Red Wings. Donovan guarded by Dave Soxy. A little shake and bake, but he wasn't able to free himself up. Donneville head fake, drives the lane, tried to split two defenders, goes hard to the ground, no call. Bisevich inside, scores, and he's fouled. The second hoop of the quarter. Four falls on Stewart. Not having a good night in that regard. He has made some spectacular blocks, though. 44 28. Three point shot, no good. Herman. Oh, nice Nice play. bounce pass. Worth scores. 
Are they gonna call a foul on Hemsing? I believe so. A so great man. offensive rebound by North and then uh, the nice pass, or both by Herman, the offensive board, and then the pass in the lane. So Worth has 10, and will shoot a free throw. Here's the shot again. There's Herman with a good rebound. There you see the great bounce pass in the lane. He made Eight. that free throw. Nope, missed it. 18 point North lead at 46 28. We've got 140 to play in the third quarter. Murphy on the give and go for the backdoor cut. Looked like Princeton out there for a second. 14 for Murphy. That's a good offensive strategy, Stu, when teams press you hard and uh, play a lot of pressure, pull those uh, defenders away from the basket and see what you can get with a back cut. Herman, another offensive rebound, and he's fouled from behind by Matt Fister. From South had made a nice run, down 24, scored eight unanswered. Kyle Touchlog returns to the lineup. We're right above where they're throwing the ball out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, Marty's waving. waving to the crowd. <laughs> hey, Andy. <laughs> Andy McKillop on the top camera. Brian Andrews on the stage. Kerry Coutzer spinning the dials in the truck tonight. He's got meat off on vacation. He's really taking care of us. Replays, submarine sandwiches. Really? Oh, got the ball right here. Marty, you must have played some soccer in your day. <laughs> Only in gym class. Under a minute to go. Oh. Uh, his feet, he wasn't all the way over. Depends where the ball was. Nope. You gotta be all three, both feet and the ball. Ooh, there's a little hop. Foul called on the drive. Shane Drewby's gonna get some free throws. Donovan is second personal. Geez, I thought we'd have a little bit of an argument going, Stu, you backed off. What's, what's the matter with you? See, I never argue. I only make a comment when I know I'm right, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> you were wrong that time, buddy. <laughs> we'll get Mr. Bladorn over here. We'll do an interview with the referees. Hartman got a hand on the ball. <laughs> Just because a referee would tell me that's <laughs> the rule doesn't mean it's right. Well, I'm telling you, you don't believe me either. I believe you, Marty. Under 30 seconds to go in the quarter. North has led from start to the present moment in this ball game. 15 seconds to go. There's a bit of a mismatch out on the floor. Stu and Herman has it, and he's guarded by uh, Admir. Fry dribbles in a double team. Stubbe takes it away and is fouled by Herman. Both Herman and Stubbe hit the wall hard. It's a good thing there's a mat there. Yeah. <laughs> Not much back of from, one. Back from World War II. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good enough for the NBA. Come on. <laughs> At the pace they played at then. <laughs> <laughs> Probably didn't even need a mat. So Stubbe's getting free throws with one second on the clock. Hits the first. That's his first point of the night. That's pretty amazing. And he gets them both. Long shot. Won't go for Sheboygan Norris. So after three quarters, North in control. They lead South 46 32. Good job. Look, it's a giraffe. I don't see it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
The less art kids get, the more it shows. Are yours getting enough? Art. Ask for more. Americansforthearts.org. Start hallucinating after three days. Start scratching yourself so bad that you'll develop scabs on your arms. Your teeth will fall out. Your eyes will turn yellow. You'll develop liver problems, but you'll regret it. You'll end up in jail, you'll end up in rehab, or you'll end up dead. And there ain't nothing else to say about it. We see us south of the, uh, the south bench as we are get, getting ready to start the fourth quarter, and they need to mount a big comeback, trailing by 14, 46-32. Stu Hoppensberger here along with Mike Martin, the guru. Stubie, Stubie making uh, fry work. Hemsinks, three-point shot in and out. Offensive board, Hartman slapped away. And Tetchlock comes away with the rebound. Ball was knocked away as Gruby tried to get inside. Was that yeah. Hartman? Will Hartman, great hustle. Missed a shot on the other end, but came back to play good defense on this end. <laughs> Almost had a replay there. Oh, Worth that's offense. a good call. That's Fry offensive foul, his fourth. Well, Hartman was playing Big Ten basketball in the lane. I don't know if you noticed that, but a North player cut through and he shoved his hind end right into him. Wouldn't let him get through. Made him go around. It might have been uh, might have been Worth, and he was trying to get a little payback when he shoved his elbows in the South player. South with numbers inside. Uh, Hartman doesn't get the shot to drop, but a foul on Tetchlog. Second personal. Tom Desitel is going to take his first time out. He's not too happy with the uh, quality of play so far in the fourth quarter. and. Uh, it's going to be a full timeout. We'll take a break. 46-32 North leads South. State planning? Losing sleep over a traffic offense? Depressed by the prospect of divorce? Feeling anxiety from the purchase of a new home? Finally, there's something that can relieve all of these symptoms. Dillman, Holbrook, Wirtz, Roth, and Bassler. Since 1945, our experienced attorneys have been solving these and other legal problems for the people of Sheboygan County. Let their experience provide real relief to your legal problems. Dillman, Holbrook, Wirtz, Roth, and Basler. Here are some of the North faithful, Stu. I think they feel pretty comfortable where they're at right now, but a lot of basketball still to be played, and as we remarked in the first game, uh, crazy things tend to happen in this building. Well, they've happened before and they'll happen again. I don't know if it'll happen tonight, but uh, I think uh, Tom Desatel sensed uh, a lack of intensity by his team, called a timeout, and the uh, game is definitely not over by a long shot, especially with the three-point shot. I'll tell you one of the crazy things that happened tonight is that uh, the South Band, when they left at halftime, we didn't even know it. Normally, it gets about 10 below zero back up here on the stage. You're absolutely right on that account. What we've gotten actually chills up our spine other years. I mean, I played golf in April and weather that was colder than this. Hartman hits both free throws in south within 12. Hartman with five on the night. His first points of the second half and the first points of the fourth quarter for either team. Murphy playing denial defense inside and ball tipped out of bounds by uh, Tim Stubbe. North is led by as many as 24. South has cut that lead in half. Jake Fry with four fouls. A good collapsing defense by the Red Wings. Fry took it in the middle of the lane. All of a sudden, he was surrounded by uh, three South players. Miss that one. <laughs> Murphy saying knocked. you missed that one. I think it went off of uh, Tetchlog's foot. And uh, again, Hartman playing very aggressive defense, not letting Worth go where he wants to go. Oh, 
Ruby was, oh, all ball. I think they're calling Admir on a body foul, not Murphy on the slap foul. No, they're, well, they're calling the wrong guy. That's what they're doing. I think it, well, Murphy didn't fall. He definitely got a slap on the ball. That would have been a travesty if they had a call a fall on him. I don't think Abisovich was close enough to reach in. On the drive, shot won't go, and South with the rebound and a chance to get within 10 or, more, or less. Murphy goes inside to Hemsing. He has it knocked away, and North gets it back. Uh, that was not a good pass. Even though he got the ball inside to Hemsing, you know, once he gets it, what's he going to do with it down there? Worth outside, now gets it to Groovy. Fry on the drive, had it knocked away, double team. South's been very aggressive here in the fourth quarter. Hartman almost with the steal. But Groovy then drains the three. Well, he made him pay. Well, South double and triple teaming the ball, and uh, they, they got the help, but they didn't get the recovery, and it cost them a three-point basket. 15 for Shane Groovy tonight. Hempsing just took Fry's jersey out of his shorts. Hartman blocked by Tetchlock, got his own rebound. Hartman. A little ticky tack, I thought there, it's too. Trevor Groovy called for the foul, his second. Both teams in the bonus, so we'll be. Uh, Hartman going to the line to shoot some free throws. North very effective on her three-point shooting tonight. Stu hitting seven out of 13 so far. Hartman hits the first free throw. Apparently he's coming in, Donovell's coming in for the shooter, so he's gonna have to wait. Seven points for Hartman, and it's a 13 point North lead with he missed 6 his first, 6 He missed his first free throw of the night, Stu, and now he's racked up five in a row. And uh, playing some real good defense down on this end. Getting a world well-deserved rest. Shane Gruby driving. Hemsing going to pick up the foul, his second. For a kid right off the JV team, uh, he's seen a lot of minutes here tonight. May see more the rest of the year, well, based on how he's played tonight. Exactly right. North misses the free throw attempt. South with a chance to inch closer. Donovell out front. North not letting those three-point shooters open outside the line. Give and go, Murphy. Oh, good hands to get that shot off. So another empty trip for South, and with 5.20 to go, the Raiders on the attack. Worth split the defense, but Murphy blocks the shot. Again, a good uh, defensive possession for South. But they could uh, just convert here, Marty. They can exactly. get right back in the ball game. Right, make a game of it. Murphy, low baseline. Stuby inside, left it for Murphy, and he's fouled. You know, one thing that's uh, hurt the Southsiders tonight is their inability to get a three point basket. You know, if they can get one or two of those. Really make it much closer. Picked up that phone. 
Who got Touch that? log is third personal as Murphy shoots a first of two free throws. Catch logs falls have all come in the second half. And with 4.47 to play, Sheboygan North wants timeout leading by 12. 30 second timeouts, do so we're going to keep it here. The South making a, a valiant effort. You can see there they're only down by 12. Uh, they're starting to hit their free throws. They're five of five here in the quarter. Well, they're hanging around with a three-point line. Yep. And, uh, you know, they've had, prior to getting these free throws, two or three consecutive empty trips on, on their end of the floor. They're really getting to a stage in the game where they've got to start uh, got to take advantage of those. Exactly. The defense certainly has been there for them. They've uh, played very, very well. Turnover count is uh, way down compared to what it was in the first half. And it's uh, been a more interesting game. So Scott Murphy, who has scored 15 so far, getting a chance to add one more point to that total. And knock that deficit from 12 to 11. Missed the second free throw. Touch lock controls for North. Fry with the ball for North. Touch log out front. Goes to Worth. Worth has four personals. Herman, double teamed. Touch log will drive, pull up 10 footer, rolls around no good. They're going to call Murphy after the shot, I think. That was a good play by Kyle Touch log. He read the double team on his teammate Herman when, when he got the ball. He took it to the basket, but instead of making it into a bad shot by uh, taking it into the South defenders, he pulled up for the eight footer. Problem was he didn't get it to go down. He will get free throws. Short on the first. Is that my imagination, Marty, or is the free throw shooting not been that good tonight? Norris has not been that good. South has been uh, quite good in the second half. Touch log misses both, and Stubbe with the rebound. Stubbe drive and charge. A little bit out of control. He beat the trail defenders, but uh, should have pulled her out. And once again, with a chance to get it to 10, South fails to convert. Rye being guarded by Hemsing. This is Tetchlog out front. Trevor Groovy posting up uh, Stubbe inside. Now he breaks out up beyond the three-point line. South, to me, has played with a lot more energy here in the second half. Fry is fouled. Hemsing picking up his third personal. South has made uh, 10 out of 13 free throws in the second half, Stu, so their free throw shooting has uh, helped them immensely. Double bonus now for the Raiders. Fry misses his first. Wow. North. Got five straight misses, is that right? Uh, fourth, I think, had the last miss in the third quarter. Yep. And then it's three, four. Touch log five. missed two. Yep, there's six. Another 0 for 2, and Murphy got the rebound. So yep. south with still another opportunity to get within 10. Or less. Or less. North is 0 for 5 in the quarter. Stubbe kicks it out to Bisevich. Goes up strong. And I think that will be it for Peter. No, I'm sorry. I thought that was on Fry, but it's worth. 
Oh, no, it's Tetchlock. He picks up his fourth. So there's three Raiders with four fouls. Stewart, Tetchlock, and Fry. Lisa Mr. Wright just brought up a real interesting point. So far in the quarter, there's only been one field goal made. Now it's a three-pointer by uh, Groovy, Shane Groovy. Chris has got a real good, uh, real good system here. He writes his note, and then when I say it, he scratches it out. Misovic at one for two, and it's an 11-point North lead now with three and a half to play. Stewart open underneath, easy two. Well, not good defense there by South. You got to account for Andrew Stewart. Six points for Stewart tonight. Murphy with the lob pass, but it's taken away. Good hustle by Worth. Ruby leaves for Stewart. Good acting job by Hempsing, and Stewart's going to have his fifth. Tom not sending in the uh, substitute for uh, Andrew Stewart who fouled out. Let's see if we can get a look at that one again, Kerry. I actually thought, I don't know if he got double teamed or not, I th almost thought he should have kicked it out. Well, he had a guy that was about seven inches smaller <laughs> on him. He should have just gone straight up and banked it in, but uh, I think Kempson did a good job of he felt a little contact and just went Here down. Here we go. So he gets double teamed. Oh well. I think that's a human element of officiating. You see a guy with seven or eight inches difference underneath. Any kind Feel of contact, sorry for the little you're going to get the call. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, when I played, I didn't get enough of them then. <laughs> well, you've got to have some contact, Marty. The guy can't be just going by you with the Toreador. Uh, Wave at him as he goes defense. by. <laughs> Heading down to the other end, looking for that outlet pass. <laughs> Cherry picking. 250 to play. South still hanging around. Trail by 13. Well, Andy Shane almost lost it. But uh, that was I think Groovy. Groovy who tapped almost it out of knocked bounds. it away. Hemsing will bring it in for South. Crowd's been very quiet here over the last eight minutes of play. Just waiting to erupt. This could do it. Bango. Boom. First three-pointer of the night for South. Five points for Stuby. It's a 10-point game. 2.30 to play. Out front, Fry. North very deliberate here in the fourth quarter. You had mentioned about uh, North scoring under 10 points. Right now, they're only sitting with five here in the quarter. Two minute mark. Scooby got a little slap on Trevor Grooby, unintentional, of course. Two on Stuby as he gets called for the foul and Trevor Grooby will get free throws. That one's hard. This will be the how not to film. So Trevor Gruby scores, it's 52-41, four points for Trevor tonight. Back to an 11-point lead for the Raiders. Breaks One. that string of missed free throws, too, Stu. Murphy spin move, 10-footer hanging. Oh. oh! Big call. Lucky he didn't have to pay to get in. <laughs> he didn't get his money's worth on that call. Well, apparently the South fans <laughs> are reminding the North fans of the football score. <laughs> That happened. That's the past. 
only at the North-South game. 136 to play. Great year for the South football program this year. You know, a nice thing about uh, TV8 when we keep track of our wins and losses, the North-South games, that's a win. <laughs> Period, no loss. Donovell, I believe, was called on that one. His third personal, and so Shane Gruby goes to the line. He hit the first free throw. Yeah. Uh, seven points so far for North in the quarter. It's only been three field goals between both teams. Yeah, very, very low scoring quarter. And then Peter. a bad play there by Worth. Shane hit one of two free throws there. He has 16 on the night. And a very methodically slow fourth quarter. Yeah, you know what I thought the, the first quarter of the girls game was probably the slowest quarter of basketball that we've seen in a couple of years. Murphy makes the first free throw. He has 16 so far tonight, Stu. South. A 57 to 6 banner up on the south side. The North cheer as football's over. Double team and a foul's going to be called. Well, if it's on Teller, he's out of the ball game. Nope, it's on Stubbe, his third. Dave Soxie with free throws. Ooh. This is the first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two of ten so far for North in the quarter. Soxie's first point, and it's 11 point lead for North. One ten to play. South's going to have to hurry. North still applying the full court pressure. Hemsink kicks it out, three-pointer on the way by Shane, and he hit it. Timeout south. They'll lose, use their last timeout, and we'll be back right after this. Sheboygan is alive with, with artistic expression. expression. Sheboygan Symphony Orchestra. Lakeshore Chorale. Distinguished Guest Series. University Theater. John Michael Kohler Art Center. Sheboygan Concert Association. Sheboygan Theater Company. Lakeland Fine Arts Series. Stephanie H. Wild Center. Theater for Young Audiences. Rotary Concert Series. Sheboygan Pops Concert Band. Give the new Performing Arts Gift Certificate available at the Chamber of Commerce office. Not long ago, Albert couldn't take long walks. He was diagnosed with a bad heart. After considering all the treatment options, his heart specialist recommended a pacemaker instead of putting him to sleep. Get the facts about animal research. Yeah, there's a shot of uh, Andy McKillops, one of our crew members tonight, bringing you all the live pictures along with Brian Andrews and Kerry Kautzer in the truck. Chris Wright did the first game with me and color analyst and of course the guru by my side here for the finale, Mike Martin. I'm Stu Hoppensberger and South trying to fight their way back into this one. As a foul's called, Red Wings trailed by eight at halftime. They're within eight right now. That's the closest they've been since halftime. Well, Danny Teller doing the correct thing even though he fouled out. He committed the foul to stop the clock. Uh, guys, you got to let that fifth guy in there. And Shane will return to the lineup for South. Teller had a bucket tonight. 
Two free throws for Tetchlock. Well, he missed two earlier in the quarter, Stu. Had Short a rough night first. from the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two for seven. And even with the make here, it's still a three possession game as he does convert. Nine point lead for North. Donovan out front, Stubbe, 45 to go. Stubbe drives. And a foul on Murphy. Third personal foul on Scott Murphy. If you're south, you have to think you follow the right guy. Tetschlag has uh, struggled from the free throw line tonight, only hitting three of eight. Devin Harris struggled from the line this afternoon in that uh, Wisconsin win. Tetschlag short again on the first. One where you go home and think, geez, I could have had about 20 tonight if I'd have hit my free throws. Well, and as he stands at the free throw line waiting to shoot this, you know, it becomes more of a mental thing than a physical thing. Good release, hit the second, eight points for Kyle, and it's a 10 point North lead. 37 seconds left. Shane, Murphy, three, got it. No timeouts left for South. Good pass and catch and a shot. And a steal by Shane, tried to scoop it forward. Last touch by Norris, South's got the ball with 20 seconds to go. The ball rolled off of a touch log out of bounds, that's why South will get it. And they're only down three point seven. shot and all of a sudden you're looking at uh, an interesting uh, finale. Murphy, long three, short off the rim. And a handoff. <laughs> Good play. Looked a little bit like a scrum. All of a sudden the ball squirts out. Steal by South. Seven seconds to go. Stubbe way Ooh. outside. He was fouled. No call. And North hangs on for a seven point victory. It wasn't pretty tonight, but Sheboygan North raced out to a nine point lead. Never trailed and defeats Sheboygan South 56 49. We'll be back to tally up the final scores and have some interviews right after this. There's a new experience around every corner as you discover Wisconsin. Discover Wisconsin like you've never seen before. What does being involved really mean? Is it making grilled cheese sandwiches for a sleepover? Staying for the curtain call at the talent show? Or learning the names of their favorite bands? Believe it or not, right now, there are parents just like you out there talking about things like this. From school to home, from friends to futures, and we'd like you to be a part of it. National PTA, every child, one voice. Because he was diagnosed with cancer as a baby. Because she was told she would not live to be nine. Because she should have a chance to grow up. Each year, thousands of children learn they have cancer or another deadly disease. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital needs your help to research cures and treat these children regardless of their parents' ability to pay because they deserve to dream. Call now to learn more about St. Jude's life-saving work. And we're back at the Sheboygan Armory where it's been a clean sleep for Sheboygan North this year. The boys of Sheboygan North beating Sheboygan South tonight 56 to 49. And standing by with a couple of the victorious Golden Raiders is the guru, Mike Martin. Joining me on the floor is Shane Gruby and Jake Fry. Jake, we'll start with you. Uh, very tough game tonight. South played very hard. Yeah, it's always a tough game in the Armory. It's never going to it's never gonna be a, a blowout, so we just got to come out and work hard and hopefully come out on top. Well, one of the things that you were able to limit from the Southsiders was their three-point shooting. They only had two all night. 
Yeah, that was a big key. Stuby and Donville, they're all great shooters, and we just had to key on them and keep them from shooting a three. The other thing I thought you did real good defensively was Murphy only had two shots in the first half. He uh, got off a little bit in the second half, but I thought you defensed him quite well. Yeah, last year he, he killed us in two games, so we knew he was going to come and play. It's, it's always a good game when he always plays well in the armory, so we just had to stop him. Shane, you had another good game tonight. Uh, been putting the ball in the hoop quite well. Uh, talk a little bit about your scoring. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Coach, coach wants us to shoot the ball when we're open, and he wants us all to be really aggressive as a team. So, And he's, if I'm playing the three-man, he really wants me to attack. So it's, it's good to have a game like that. We talked about it before we went on the air, but uh, South seemed to be able to control the tempo pretty good. You guys didn't get out and run like I know you'd like to. No, we didn't. They're, they're really good at playing in these games against us, so I don't know. We would have loved to have the tempo, but I think we, we tried to do a good job trapping Stuby, but he's a really good ball handler, and we probably should have done a little better job. I'm sure Coach will talk about that when you have your next practice. I thought uh, Tim Stuby did a really good job uh, coming off a sprained ankle. He played uh, quite well tonight handling the ball and handling the pressure. Yeah, well, it's a north-south game, so we all knew he was going to play, and we, we expected his best out of him tonight. Kyle Tetchlog is a real force inside for you guys, but I'll tell you, down the stretch, you guys did not shoot your free throws very well. No, we don't. That's something we have to work on every day in practice, and hopefully by the end of the season, that'll pick up a lot. Are you nervous? Oh, a little bit. <laughs> That's all right. I'm you got. Excited. <laughs> I'm excited. So am I. Thanks a lot for stopping down, guys, and congratulations on the win. Good luck this season. We'll send it back to Stu. All right, thanks a lot, Marty. One of the things you wouldn't expect to see is North turning the ball over more than South tonight, but they did 26 turnovers to South 21. Still able to prevail by a 56-49 final score. Leading all scorers tonight was Sheboygan South, Scott Murphy. He had 20. Other scorers for South, Will Hartman with seven, Ed Mira Bisovic with six. Tim Stubbe had five, Adam Koenig four, Andy Shane with three, and then a pair of points for B.J. Harry and Dan Teller. Totals 49 for the Red Wings. For the Golden Raiders, Shane Gruby led North with 16 points tonight. Peter Wirth, the only other Raider in double figures with 10. Jake Fry had nine. Kyle Touchlog, eight. Andrew Stewart, six. Trevor Gruby had four. A basket for Brian Herman and Dave Soxie with a single point. That adds up to 56. North with the victory now 5-0 and, oh and still leading the Fox River Valley Conference all alone in first place. Sheboygan South falls to 2-3 and three in league play. So it's been a good double header tonight Sheboygan North girls winning 64 60 in the opener and then a hard fought boys game won by Sheboygan North 56 49 for our TV 8 crew and for the guru Mike Martin and also Chris Wright I'm Stu Hoppensberger saying thanks for joining us and so long